Same turned out sweet. Chris and Dawson knocked it out of the park for sure. I wasn't too sure on how I felt about the different shade blues, but kind of sets it off. But this thing rides and drives like it did stop. So this thing's pretty sweet. I'll need to check it out. This is a 2022 F350 single wheel. We're doing a four and a half inch striker kit on it. It's uh, powder coated, pretty much the same color as the truck. We're about halfway through it. We got it torn apart right now. Uh, getting all this front end work, pitman arm, all that, drop brackets, everything put together and everything. Then we're gonna move to the radius arms, get them done, get the plates put on them. I can't see that damn hole. Keep the old sway bar links right there. Four and a half. It gets a two and a half inch on top and then pretty much a rough country on the bottom. And then we use the same springs. Wipe this thing off. We're putting the face plates, the blue plate, uh, face plates on them, we're gonna have to drill a few holes, tap them out, and bolt them in. I love the way this thing sounds. Hell yeah. I said, I don't see how he's comfortable driving that thing. I mean, he's, you can hardly see his head in there. We may need to run that fucking tab after we're done through the faceplate holes. Having to remove the under plates to get to the adjustment for the tow and the camber on it. And it's gonna be about 20, 30 bolts to take out so you, so you can get to everything to adjust on them. The only bad thing about sports cars, but it is what it is. Gotta, gotta take care of the customer. I always got the hard to get to ones too. One right here on the front too. Gotta love hidden bolts. All for that. I'm gonna break the jam nut loose so I can adjust the tie rod right in. What is that? There we go. Uh, the tie was about the back tie was about a half a degree out together, like 25, about a 
25% off this side and 25% off that side. Needs to be adjusted to the center of the toe and center of the car back up into a straight line. That way it drives better. Unfortunately, the camber's out just a little bit, but uh, I, don't find, I can't find any camber adjustment for it. So I can't adjust that much. That's not far out, but it's out enough that I'd want to admit I want to fix it. But sometimes I don't get all, I don't always get in my way. Right there. So it gets back down and we'll be done. We can put them 27 bolts back in that I was up plate on. Didn't find no camber adjustments for it. Yeah. Even taking that whole plate off. So the camber's got to stay the way it is. Do you, have a, anyway. do you have a preference on how you want it to be towed? You want it towed out, center? Like center okay. Like I'm well, I just want to make sure before I finish it. it. No, it's about to have. have a bit of anyway. Yeah, the back toe is only about a, together was half, about a half a degree, so it wasn't like far out. <laughs> no. I'll do my best. Well, plastic pieces I gotta take off and get to the tie rod ends, make it a little easier on me. There we go. Now we're just fine tuning the toe on the front of the car. And we'll be ready for a test drive. There we go. One more and we're done. So that's about another inch. To come forward? Yeah. Our rack arms were right in the way, so we had to put them on these jack stands. That way we could get our front cradle on. So now we gotta get it back on the rack. Rack it by the body mount. We can yeah. bet, uh, it's like two range. inches too short. Jack the axle up and lower the jack stands. The jack stands are a mile high right now. Yeah. Really, we could just drop that. I would just keep going forward with those. Basically, you took the rack out of the equation. Yeah, so, pretty much. Yeah, we're doing a lift on the ground. Yeah, we're doing a lift on yeah. The ground. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my bad. Yeah. Put this other radius arm on, put the springs in, and steering stabilizer, and then the rear blocks. Should be it. power to the shop so this truck stuck in the air all the everything stuck <laughs> everything <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. hey that's illegal 
I didn't give you my consent to video me. Yeah. Gone long. You're fired. <laughs> Day two on the F-250 build. We got it finished up this morning. Power came back on late yesterday. Got the rear on, finishing up some stuff, buttoning up a few things, and about to start mounting the wheels and tires for it. guys we're getting this uh, single cap slab uh, finished up for our boy Mikey uh, he brought this thing to us last week said hey it was bone stock I want it up want some big chrome wheels here's what we got six inch rough country lift um, all new obviously shocks cool springs the whole nine yards 2414 at our Archon seizure uh, chrome 35 13 50 24 amp MTs this thing turned out pretty sweet in my opinion these Archons are they're a true directional cast wheel, um, so both sides are go the correct way. Um, other than that, check this thing out. So Chris and Dawson just got through wrapping up this F-350. Uh, this bad boy got a four and a half inch striker rad kit. All the nice striker add-ons, face plates and everything to retain the factory radius arms. Um, those are just a bolt-on style kit. Powder coated blue. It's a little different than the truck, just kind of give it a little bit of a, a set off color. Um, we are still waiting on some other parts to finish it up, like the rear traction bars and stuff like that. The good thing about Striker and this kit is you can add the center cradle like we did on the big white shop F450. And like I said, obviously the rear traction bars as well. That stuff's not on yet, but this thing's gonna be ready to roll for the weekend for, our, for the customer. And uh, we'll get all that stuff added on at a later date. Um, for the wheels and tires, it got 22-12 gear off-road ratio in chrome. Um, 37-12-50 Toyo Open Country AT3s. Best tires in the market right now. Got to give this customer a really good ride. This thing turned out sweet. Chris and Dawson knocked it out of the park for sure. This thing rides and drives like it did stock. So this thing's pretty sweet. Y'all need to check it out. Pretty sure this one got a three and a half inch. Um, wrapped it up for the dealer just a few minutes ago. Jake knocked this one out. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty fast. Uh, this one got 20 by nine weld off-road wheels. To my knowledge, this is the first set of weld off-road wheels that we've done on one of these Broncos. Uh, very, very cool wheels. Still gives it like that simulated D-lock look. Uh, 35, 1250, 20 Neto Ridge Grapplers. Um, best ride that you can buy for tire wise. Um, done, do a quick walk around this thing. Install a light bar as well with LED, these little LED pods for the front, light up the road or trail, whatever the customer wants to take it on once they buy it. Uh, done the 
spare as well. That way he has all five matching. If he does get into a little situation and needs the spare put on, uh, he's got it. Um, these things are super sweet. This one in particular, because it's got, it's already black, so it's got painted black fenders and it matches the top and everything. This thing's pretty sweet, check it out. on the tread so any of your highway tires are, are going to get a little bit better mileage absolutely all right guys uh that pretty well wraps up this week's episode um uh, i don't even know what all's in this episode but liam was saying there's kind of a lot of stuff going you know we have the striker truck bronco bills mclaren it's been a crazy week here i, I haven't even been on camera in a little bit it's just been running around like crazy uh guys have been kicking butt getting some stuff knocked out. Uh, thankful for all the business. We appreciate you guys as always. Um, still trying to push some in stock wheel and tire sales. Uh, everything that we got in stock, man, we're making some crazy deals on, trying to uh, you know, clear it out. It's less stuff we gotta move. But that's coming along real good. We're gonna have an update for you soon on that. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys as always. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Drop us a comment below and we'll see you soon. Peace.